question I have for you guys is um what was the most common thing that people asked you about when you got here? Because I know the yeah, the funny thing is that when you are here, people are like, Oh, do you speak English in your country? I hate that question because yeah. it pisses me oh, off a lot. Yeah, I don't think anybody has no. asked. They never asked you. Yeah, yeah, because in class we speak and we speak English. 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 So they don't like they never really? asked me that. Before. I think one question people ask is where are you from? I literally say Africa, I say oh Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody assumes that yeah, so Africa is Nigeria. 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 Yes. <laughs> So they, they, they just like, are you new here? Oh, is this your first time? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, is this your first answer, time yeah. in Montreal? Is this your first time outside your country? Yeah, so they are always asking those two questions. Yeah. 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 I know most of you guys are scholars. Like, <clears throat> how was it like applying for the MasterCard scholar, scholarship? Different. How was it like? Or how, did you feel like <laughs> how, did you, how was it like? Or how did you feel like when you got the scholarship? <laughs> Both. How about that? I'm not uh, well, <laughs> How was it like? Because you might, you might want to. Yeah, I'm yeah, to tell us. I'm not 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 tell us. The process took a while mm -hmm. because you have to first apply for nomination for department mm -hmm. and you being nominated does not mean you get admission. Mm -hmm. You getting admission does not mean you get the scholarship. So that was the step. So you get nominated first. When you pass that stage, you're excited. You are thanking God that you passed the admission. You are praying ahead that you get admission yeah. too. So when you get the admission, the next thing is to start paying again. Ah, no, let me get it. Because like, my admission came like February. February. Mine yeah. came February. Too. I think my admission came February. So I was like, hey, God, I cannot get the admission. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, there's no way mm -hmm. I'm going to pursue these studies. I mean, March 25th. Yeah. I think for my birthday. Was it not 25th? I think my own came 24th. I got mine 25th. <clears throat> I think for my yeah. birthday. Yeah. Literally, I was just sitting down typing Commonwealth essays. Yeah. I will not try it. Was, I do not want to try it. Let my me know. was on my neck. Wait, your husband was around then? Yeah, like oh. he was the one that actually pushed me throughout all the scholarship application. So he was like, I must type this essay today. <laughs> so I was already grumbling because I was already exhausted from thinking and typing any essay. Mm -hmm. But that day, I, I said that I've typed like three or four that day. And we're about to sleep. And I just saw an email. Oh my god. Oh. I just an ah, email by this time. When I opened it, the way I screamed. Oh my goodness. People in the house jumped out because they felt like probably something, something bad happened. had happened. Oh. The one was screaming continuously. <laughs> so it was like a family <laughs> song. Ah, so I was not oh screaming. Oh oh I was just screaming. Oh 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 I was just screaming. It was a life party. What happened that day was that like, first when I first applied for the nomination, yeah, me like when I wanted to start applying, I asked someone that because I'd be very late. I don't know if there's anyone like applier, but I I apply late all the time. So I asked a friend that uh, on one group that. Um, can I still apply for the McGill nomination? And the person was like, Oh, your course is not part. And I was like, eh, Even if, and I applied. <laughs> 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 and, I, and I applied. And when I applied, um, I got the nomination. I was like, Oh, really? So I applied for the scholarship. I have a friend, and he was really helping me throughout that time. And my babe was really pushing me. Oh. So I applied for oh, the really admission. <laughs> Please look for. <laughs> <laughs> I applied for the admission. Then I did. I did. I actually did not know the school make you. I was chasing the scholarship, so I just applied. And February 18, I had problem with my references. So, but like I later got it. Oh, so this. I got the admission February 18. And I was like, mommy. I told my mom she was the only one I knew. My husband did not know. Nobody knew. Oh. So I was like, mommy, please don't tell anybody. That I've gotten McGill admission that I want you to put it to your prayer. I'm say, but you, ah, um, get there. Every day. Yeah, she said she pray. She, like, oh, pray. she said she ah. has gone to Sunday to, to church on Friday and she knows she has the assurance. I that know that. I was like, mommy, amen, amen. So when the scholarship came, I think I just came out from my mom's shop that day and everybody was just lying. Like in my family, like maybe in the ninth, everybody just lied down on the ground and we we're all just in. So I just saw the email, congratulations, I said for what? My mom was like, check the email now. I said, I said, mommy, I'm continuing. My brother was like, when did you get the admission That's for now? I said, I'm yeah. So, <laughs> and after that, I 
apologize to all the people that I did not tell about the admission or that. So my mom was like, ah, my mom now cooked. I think she cooked pepper soup for me that night. <laughs> 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 For food only. <laughs> yeah, that's my love language. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really exciting, honestly. And like figuring out that I had to like go to Canada, being the first in my family. Like it's it's not something that anybody would have thought of, even mm -hmm. me. As that much yeah. much that I'd like to share this story with anybody. Be sorry. As at March 9, International Women's Day, I got sacked from my office. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know well, let's not worry. This is story. This is yeah, another, it's a story. Another, another whole. We don't have a video on that one. So it was really a break. Yeah, it's life changing. Like, it's life changing. Uh, no, you cannot explain the feeling. They yeah, are going abroad. It's like <clears throat> your dreams that you've been chasing for so long that you've drafted. Like I've always had the dream from hundred level that I was going to have my masters abroad. I didn't know what was going to happen because obviously. Mm -hmm. My mom was because she knew what she wanted. Yeah. So I just knew that I didn't want to do my masters in Nigeria. Nigeria. That mm -hmm. was it. I was like, I can't leave Lautech and come and come go to any any one at all mm -hmm. and do any this thing. So I was. It was a matter of hope and trust because I spent my whole NYSC money for exam mm -hmm. for getting the national passport. <laughs> like, <laughs> Literally, I literally that for was the investment that I did for my NYSC. <laughs> wow. So I could not explain, like, when I was getting all those rejection letters back to back, Edinburgh gave Science me. Science is poor, Edinburgh, I started feeling like, hey, God. Even that shared me. I was just like, God, God. <laughs> Father, my G is the last option. Like, this is just the last. Like, if I don't get my heel, something can happen to me. Like, I, I can't do <laughs> <can't laughs> <be blessed. laughs> That was the way it was. Yeah. So when he came, it was like, you break your points. Yeah. yeah, that was it. So, Joby, how was it like for you? Because I, uh, how was it like for you to get like the admission. the McGill admission? Yeah. Because I know, I know. I know. <laughs> 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 like because it's not that easy. Even if you get yeah. the admission, you might not get the visa. Yeah. It's 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 yeah. so it's a fifty fifty. Because I I know yeah. how it is like. So how was it like for you? Well, for me, I think one prayer I always pray is that like. Anything I have to do that has to do with education, like I'll never be denied. Oh. Mm. So mm. I plan to do my masters in what year? Twenty twenty. I plan to do my masters in twenty twenty, but you know some things happened. I didn't go. Then twenty 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 one came. All the schools I applied to, I got the admission. So, but you know, even the second school I applied to, like I got what like was that Manitoba. Oh, yeah, I got like I got a scholarship, sure, but. I knew that Manitoba was not the direction for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I came to my girls' so airport, and you see, but the direction was right. They have to be. 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 Gosh, like I've never been depressed in my life. Oh. <laughs> like they'll tell you, okay, in just two weeks. After two weeks, you get your answer, but the two weeks turn to like three months. You won't even have to do IELTS. Yes, like really? to do, yes. because of the visa. She yeah, has to do it. Never see. They said that like you have to do the IELTS for like so Nigerian fast Express to fast track. So I did. I like. They I told remember me, like, when I was breaking that thing. I did IELTS on our week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I did IELTS. Like I already got to the point of like deferring because wow. like school had already resumed and visa didn't come. Mm. But my friend here said that I should just pray, and mm. then he came. The wow. like the next week. The days of NLP prayer. The days of writing my I letter of congratulations. NLP is yes, next level. Next level. Oh yeah, yes. I lost my top. Yes. I lost my top. Yes. Oh, I, I used to be there like yeah. from 12 30 hour time. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So there, I'm on NLP. <laughs> That's next level prayer. Okay, 6 30 a.m. 6 30 a.m. I used to be, I'm always there. NLP. Toss is the experience. Toss is what I do. Well, well, yeah, my own experience is different actually. I think I had it, um, God has been the settling or the setting, so he has been setting the, the, uh, my steps, I mean my, my steps actually. So for me it was a little bit different. It was the first time I applied and I got, I applied to form a scholarship and I got Commonwealth and I got MasterCard. So I was, I didn't really have this, uh, rejection part. Uh, Chevening, I was rejected at the interview stage, so... I knew I had issues with my interview, like I'm not really good with interviews at all. So mine wasn't really like much of 
rejection or setback or something because I did I have the first cycle I got it so I didn't really have issues like maybe the way people say oh rejection how they felt and something like that I think the only thing that surprised me the most was for Mastercard they picked just two people in Nigeria and I think that is something I'm always grateful for mm. it wasn't because of my academic merit or something it was mm -hmm. just God because I knew a lot of scholars applied in the same set I applied mm -hmm. and they just picked two Nigerians out of the millions of Africans so, yeah that's, that's, that's unique and actually the other person she's she just came back from a trip, so she we're gonna do a video separately yeah. where she's going to be there, <clears throat> and that's going to be like another video and with another set of people actually, so that we can really see that it's not that easy <laughs> to be here and to be huh. African or Nigerian to be precise actually. Yeah. So um how <laughs> 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 you guys at least I don't do your nonsense <laughs> <laughs> okay the last question is what advice would you give any student any international student or someone who wants to come here to study what's that one thing that even even, even applying for scholarship what's that one thing that you will give them what's that word um, you keep would. God constant in your life yeah. <laughs> then I will also add that preparation actually is extremely important like you can't say you are planning to study abroad probably next year or chase a scholarship next year mm -hmm. and you are not already preparing this year. Yeah. Like preparation is key. Mm -hmm. that, as I saw, God is a constant but God has to see your own input. Yeah. So you have to give. Your like when you don't even get it, you know that no, I did my best. Not like yeah. you have to like, oh, ah, I didn't put enough yeah. effort yeah. into yeah. mm -hmm. this. So I think preparation and putting your best. Yeah, your best. And I think just to agree with what Amaka said, I think a lot of Nigerians have this perspective when you say they don't know the distinction between grace and effort. Most people when they talk about grace, they feel oh, it's something easy to get, but they don't know even grace has to apply effort for mm. that grace to work. Yeah. So while, like just to agree what Amaka said, that preparation, that means you are applying effort to then you keep yeah. God constant and yeah, you are. Yeah, but me, I'm just going to talk about like coming here. So when you finally get everything, rejoice and be glad. <laughs> but when you come here, that that's another like that's another step. Yeah. So like just just be yourself. That's it. Like if you are asked like write anything, give your examples from questions. Nigeria. Yeah. Ask and questions. Ask questions. Yes. Yeah. I think yes. I think people can say or, yeah. or, or international or your own yeah. personal experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not so. No one can write your story. Down. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. So Nobody. you should talk about your story mm -hmm. when you're writing. Exactly. Yeah. And be ready to unlearn. Relearn. Relearn. Mm -hmm. Learn. 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 Social work can be defined as by two scholars. Be <laughs> <laughs> like, ready to unlearn. Learn. 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 Be mm -hmm. very open to learn and be very fast too because yes. the, the time is not going to wait for you at all. Yeah. And I think don't give up because I yeah. think I think we were all like yeah. This year has like last year like was last an four emotional months. roller coaster like last yeah. four months. You just exactly. have to push. You just you have to cry. You will uh, cry. If I but you will cry. Frustrated mm -hmm. you know, at, at the point that you feel like you're not good enough. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You feel yeah. like you lose appetite, man. Yeah, lose everything. Like, like, yeah. like yeah. you just be like, what next? Like I want to just go home and go and meet my mommy. <laughs> 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 I think, I think <laughs> at some point every student, surely international student, will suffer from something, imposter syndrome or something. Yeah. And you're gonna doubt you yourself. Don't you're academic. Yeah. You don't know if you're here. Yeah, you're going to feel like, am I supposed to be even be in this class in the first place? Mm -hmm. Did I even attend an undergrad mm -hmm. before coming here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they reach out and make friends. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah and if you are still in your high school, and probably you are considering like undergraduates, I, I, I just, I want to advise <laughs> you that undergraduate <laughs> degree, I just want to advise you to try to apply for your, see, it's easier to do your undergraduate degree here than do a graduate degree after. Yeah. Because you'll get used to the system. You understand? Yeah. So please, if you are still in high school, please, I use God and beg you. <laughs> try to apply for undergraduate degree. But if you are now like me, 
that we've graduated that I want to apply, please gain experience. Like I mean I mean volunteer yeah, experience. experience. Yeah. That's volunteer. Good. Even if they are not giving me one cover, volunteer because, yeah, because most of us that was what that was us. what helped us. And even if you are still in um part three or part two in the university and you have the you're envisaging that before you finish you want to apply for scholarships, mm -hmm. start building your CV now, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Put yourself into leadership positions that mm. you can actually have leadership mm. capacities mm -hmm. to function. Mm -hmm. Like just add as many skills as possible. They are not necessarily looking for you to have professional experience, so to say, like mm -hmm. pay jobs and everything. Mm -hmm. But like they want to see that you have a track record of giving back to your community. Mm -hmm. You have a track record of handling positions and executing projects. Yeah. So it will actually help. That will help a lot. Yeah. And there's no journey. So international studies, if there's no passport. So first of all, go and get, get, get your passport. Yeah. Yeah. Save your NYC money. Don't use it to carry it. <laughs> Save your NYC money. <laughs> Me, it was my NYC money that I saved. I joined in Moda. Wait, wait, one, one, last, one last question that just came to my mind. Yeah. <laughs> what is Sorry, uh, okay. I want to add something else too. A lot of people give excuses. And I would say that, as you just kind of find a way to, and uh, you don't know what have happened to me. I'm not saying everyone has not gone through experiences. Oh. Yeah. And people's experiences are kind different. of different. Mm -hmm. And people have excuses for why they've not written their essays. They will tell you, I don't have a laptop, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and they okay. don't allow whatever experience or whatever to shape. shape so limit you. Yeah, I actually you. used my phone in writing I all was, my essays. I was in a town that there was no light. Mm -hmm. I was telling you, there was no light, like literally. Mm -hmm. Network was work. I can't even make video calls. That was how bad the network mm -hmm. was. And I was applying for scholarships. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it was as bad as that. And I could not give that as an excuse. Yeah. I can walk around. To go and you need to go for like, that, that's, that's a dedication for the network to look for. So, like, yeah. it's very important. Yeah. Like, you should not allow experiences to limit you. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I have one more question. It is one thing that I know every Nigerian does. Once you're in Canada, you are not an agent. How do you guys take that? Like, because I feel like yeah, so. on your LinkedIn, for instance, people will be reaching out to yeah. you a lot. And how did you do it? Show me the steps. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's that one thing that you can tell, like, an Af someone that is in Nigeria right now that, okay, if you need help, yeah, it's okay to ask for help, but you too, you have to make an extra effort, is it? Um, because yeah. for me too, if I want, if I want to apply for something, I, I, I need to make my own effort. Not that, okay, yeah. I want to apply for something, I'm, I'm reaching out to Tosi, I'm yeah. like, Tosi, oh, help me do this Google. thing. Yeah. Tosi can only help you to a certain extent because he has his own things he has to do. I have my own thing. So you, I have to be the one to be intentional about exactly. it and know what I want to do. And even all this, and the thing, the problem I have with people in Nigeria is that they don't always want to do it for, by themselves. They yeah, always want you, you to, to help them. them. And that's why those agents in Nigeria always eat people. Them, yeah. They explain to you, they're like, oh, this is 100,000. And you might just be twenty thousand now. Seven Canada well, visa application. They are dashing people bans, like five year, five year bans and all those things agent. because of agenda. Maybe those agenda they they've they done like wrong, wrong things, yeah. and they will now. And these things, and this is actually agent. very easy for you to so do. If you go, if we go on the Canada website, which I will make sure I put in my description box so you guys can see. If so you go on the Canada website, you can make this research yourself. Read it. Apply. Apply for an mm -hmm. open work permit. Is that open work permit? Want you study, you want apply for the admission by yourself. You don't need think, someone to yeah. help you to do it. Like for me, I, I did my whole process myself. I think like another thing is um, a lot of people before it's not actually bad to reach out to people to ask them questions. Yeah, it's not bad. But what I noticed is people who invest on you, if they don't say that you've not made some findings for yourself, yeah. so something I noticed for myself mm -hmm. when I was reaching out to. People to help me review my essay or to ask questions. They saw that I had done my work. No research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's they were eager. Like, so they were eager to like be on like someone that has not done any research and just wants mm -hmm. to like just add me so down fair, with the yeah. only. Mm -hmm. Just give me and a lot of people when you speak to them, they feel like you were probably you were spared so yeah they are say that you were spared <coughs> by someone and they don't literally know, know the work you put in you, know. you they, them, that you have to go through yeah it's not like you're punishing them they see it as punishment when you tell them go and draft your first essay let me see it 
I said it to me. I said it to me. And let me correct that. It will build your writing skills. Mm -hmm. They actually don't understand that when you come here, that writing skills will be less than you need it. Yeah. Oh, you like, need it. Uh, you will continue uh, writing. You write 3,000 words. When you say it like that, they feel like, no, now give, just give me a template. Yeah, yeah give me a template. Or like, oh, give me your essay. Or oh, give me your essay. And I'm like, see, it's my story. It won't be more rich. It will be more rich in life if it's coming from that. I do have. For my regular essays, I didn't have a draft of someone's essays. I wrote my essay it's from my essay. I just wrote it fresh. So when it's coming to anyone, it's nobody's essays. Mm -hmm. It is mine, yes. no mm -hmm. one else. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of what you're trying to help people to do. Yeah. But people don't really see it that way. They literally yeah. say like, probably you're being wicked or... Yeah, and, but you're not. And sometimes you're even busy with your own graduate school. Yeah. yeah. Graduate yeah. school enough is already challenging. You no, know, it is challenging. And <laughs> when you're trying to like, oh, I'm so sorry that I've not replied to you for some days. Some people assume you're already proud. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. That's the problem I have with yeah. 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 I have that big like, problem. Deep, like someone sent me a message and she was like, oh, he said that you don't talk to us anymore. Yeah, like, bro, they don't understand. Like, it's not like yeah, that. Exactly. They don't literally know that you're also fighting your, your own, own personal problem. Like, and I think the challenge so, most Nigerians have is we we don't know how to use some of these search engines very well. Yeah. Most people don't know how to use Google. I know a lot of people browse Google, but most people don't, don't know how to. You don't know it. what what thing you could put on Google. And they're not willing to. Exactly. And some people are not willing to even exploit it. One thing I've learned when I got here, I also learned some of these things when I got here, is yeah. there is nothing you put on Google that you won't get something. Yeah. So even if you need sample of motivation letter for McGill, yeah. someone yeah. would have post posted something. it. So, so whatever it is you want, before you ask, or reach out mm -hmm. to someone, I have to go to Canada, put it on Google, it will list different parts of the YouTube. If someone would have posted something, yes, video, yeah, so everything is on Google. You just, like, and it's on YouTube. Exactly, you just have to put it on Google, then it brings it, then you peruse those link and all. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't really blame people when they, they come into my gym, they ask to be sponsored. I assume automatically that. If you have idea of what you could do, even yeah. with your food, mm -hmm. you could get a lot of information that even I myself might not be able to provide. So one thing I will always tell people is, why have you put it on Google? And I guide them to, okay, just put it on Google. Schools in Canada. Actually, some people actually have this information and will not still go and search for it. Exactly. That's what you do. 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 That's what you these are things you could have done on your own and without yeah, even paying this Like track. another thing is that if you are going to someone's DM, just remember that the person might be in a very wrong mood at that time. Yeah. So you should not bring your own bad mood to the person. Exactly. Yeah. Like some people just say, hey, okay, mm -hmm. I have someone who have, we've not talked, we've not talked in like two years. And she just messaged me in the new year and she just said, hey, happy new year. Who was the agent that, can you tell me the agent that put you through your admission? And I'm like, guy. I left that message. You should have shared Mastercard email with them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I left that message on on red. Later, I read it and I told her that I would wait to send the voice notes later. Like, I'm sure that a number of people will not want to see something like that if they have their own struggles too. Yeah. yeah. Like going on. And here, you can go through a lot of this. Imagine someone chatting you for the first time, sending you 30 or 4 minutes voice note. And they, ow. Man, I'm person chatting you and sending all the, like, Maybe the steps of the application, and the person has not seen you for a long time. The person just sends big pictures, screenshots. What should I put here? What should I put here? Right. And like, it's not. It's it's actually not. It's rude. It's yeah, actually it rude. rude. Now, if the person doesn't answer you, the person becomes proud. Yeah. But it's you don't approach people in that way, even if you don't even want anything from the person. Like for someone like me, if I want to ask you for yeah. something, when I call oh, you, I will genius with you. Then I will put the thing in the middle. The funny thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'll be waiting. I'll be doing the graduation. Yes. No, I'll ask you for the time. I just build it up. Most people don't know the essence of networking in Nigeria. No. To oh, people, you don't like the yeah. first thing is build network with people. Yeah, so you know that person, what they are going through. Mm -hmm. Then you could smile. I remember my essays, my my mentor lady twice she was writing her exams. Imagine writing a uh, graduate exam at the University of British Columbia and you are reading someone essay and going through it. So I, I until I got here, then I realized, oh, this person has sacrificed a so lot at that time. Mm -hmm. But that was because I built a connection with her. At some point, she was like, I have to help this person. Mm -hmm. But some people just come to your DM, this is my essay, can you help and me? And you have to be understanding too, because uh, when I was applying, I understood that most of my reviewers were graduate students. They were having their exams also. 
So when I send the essays, I don't send maybe the deadline is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. close to the I don't deadline. Send then I'll not start this. I need, exactly. I need it today. If possible. So today. I make sure that I make sure that I send it like weeks. weeks. In fact, months. And exactly. Is that, that's three the months best thing. Before. Because for like a month, they may not even open your Because essay. other people, once the applications start coming, other people are connecting with them exactly. to ask them to review the essay. So they have a lot of essays. So yeah. if you can get the questions before the uh, the, the, the way application before the application start rolling mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. and you've sent your own ahead, it gives you a longer time for them to, even if they change the question, because some schools actually yeah, change their question. question. Yeah. It actually happened with me, Gil, too. The, the question was change. changed, yeah. But like mm -hmm. you get, you get, <laughs> you already have something on ground that you can tweak and just adjust and just send to them, and they already know that no, this person is consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. once yeah. I already, yes, this person is consistent. They already know you. So once, oh, I'm sorry, can you give me two weeks? Exactly. Like, it's fine because you're not. In your now, if anybody will tell you, send me email. Yes, so if anybody will send something, something, the first yeah, thing I so, ask the person is when is the deadline. Like because I want to know how I'll squeeze it in. No, so I ask yeah. you when is the deadline? If you say okay, maybe Tuesday or something, I'll tell you that ah, I don't think this okay. can be possible. But if it's going to be possible, I'll tell you that <clears> okay, <throat> give me till this, this day because I want to like fix this case. because you are. You, if you see the number of books that somebody is required to read, yeah. 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 the yeah. 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 semester yeah. writing, this semester, just this week, this week, I have seventy something pages to read, yeah. <laughs> and then next I week, I have videos to watch. <laughs> One day, I have podcasts to listen to. <laughs> next week, I have a quiz. Guys, so, when I saw my schedule for winter. <laughs> I was just telling the internship I was just telling yeah. Doi like I was I was scared. I had to bring myself back. Mm -mm, don't fear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fear nah, not. No, fear not. Mm. We've done the first one. We've done, we've done, but the second, God, this second one is looking like mm. it's looking like. What's the first one? Fear not. Fear not. Stand still. I said Yeah, before you go, so opportunity. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know, are we done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, you guys, at least I, I finished this video. I'm so excited that I did it because I, I did not allow them to breathe. I've been, 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 i Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. I hope this video is really good and you guys learn one or two things on this video and you watch again. We'll have more. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you put it in the comment section down and I'll make sure I put everybody's <laughs> Instagram and do and their LinkedIn and go and do. <laughs> Andrews on that and even their email so that you guys can like reach out to them if you need help with something and I sure I'm sure they'll definitely be able to help you people. But yeah. thank you so much and do have a great and a wonderful yeah, day. Bye. Subscribe. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. 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 Yeah.